Warami, Garigal Darug Nora, Walamabemi, Inyana, Bayalawa, Ngai Nailang, Budri, Darabara Yanu. Welcome to this beautiful land, the land of the Garigal Bidjigal people who I'm a traditional descendant of. My name's Auntie Rhonda Dixon Grosvenor and I'm a Gadigal, Bidjigal, Darug and Ewan traditional descendant of this area. I'm a grandmother of 14 grandchildren and I just welcomed you to country. The welcome is to done to keep you safe on your journey and on this beautiful land and to keep you safe when you're on your return home. I'd like to also acknowledge the elders, past, present and future. So I'm very honoured to be here today uh, because it's very moving for me because my descendants, my people, gathered all along this river and they swam and they fished and they cooked. They birthed children and buried their afterbirth here along the river. They died along the river. And when, after the Appen massacre, where 14 Aboriginal People, mothers, fathers and children were massacred, were run over the, the edge of a, a, of a big um, gorge. And then they went down, they got the bodies and hung them up in the trees to, sh to show Aboriginal people, if you don't do what you're told, this is what's going to happen. So it's very moving for me um, as we go along the river at different areas. Um, there's going to be areas that were ceremonial grounds and burial grounds and also there's areas that my people did ceremony in and there's handprints, there's footprints and there's middens and so for me to do this walk my people have been here for over 80,000 years uh, it's, it's very moving, very moving for me. And like Uncle Max said, Uncle Max Della Munman Harris, Harrison, who's a senior Ewan lawman, he says, you've got to give out to get back. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, when you give out and you teach other people about the beauty of the country and the, and the rivers and and the animals and the beautiful trees, they learn to love and get the well-being from that and the beauty. And they get to love and learn about how wonderful Mother Earth is and what she provides for us. And so on this journey with us all here today, it's very special because it'll be something that you'll experience in your body, in your heart and in your soul. And you listen and you hear, you hear Guliari, the river talking to you. And you'll hear the birds talking to you. And you'll hear the wind, Kurukurai, talking to you. So I'm very pleased and honoured to be on this journey with you and Yanu, thank you. Um, thank you so much for that beautiful welcome, Ani Ronda. Uh, it's so just meaningful to me and um, I know to Estrada to have all of you walking with us today and um, to think about our history as we're walking and to spend time, a lot of time together. 
uh, with this with this river, um, which I know is important to a lot of you in a lot of different ways as well. Um, and so, yeah, we, the three of us, just wanted to say thank you to all of you for coming. There's a little bird going along there. See near the rocks? Yeah, all the fish. Wow. Yep. And uh, the butterflies. Down there right by the edge, oh, wow, the look, the sunflower down there. It's oh. with each other. And already the river is like the channel, you can't even see the channel anymore. Wow, yeah, that's high, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's such a change from just, you know, 100 metres ago. Look at that, that's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Slows you down, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I needed this. Mm, me too. Very nice. Lovely. Lots of little butterflies. Love is like a butterfly. Hello, Ambara. Thank you. Oh, you gorgeous things. And they still love the water. They still love it. Even though it's dirty. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> and the shimmer of the it look, looks like glass. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. What a blessing. Yeah. It's got a different smell. You can smell the salt, the salt water. Yeah. Strong. These look like the little waves again. Mm. Amazing. Might be the parents up there that we saw. Yeah. They're quite a distance away, eh? Yeah. Golly, Ari. Golly, Ari. This is Waterbird Sanctuary. This feds has been installed to create a safe place for pelicans, cor cormorants, and other waterbirds to rest and sun themselves without disturbance. Please respect the sanctuary by keeping out of the fenced area. Schooliari. They're pelicans. That's what this river's called, Guliari, after the pelicans. I thought one of those pelicans was a big bird. Wow. Wow, yeah, that's that's Guliari. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you say Guliari? Guliari. Yeah. Guliari. Guliari, the pelican, Beautiful. and the river's called Guliari because there's a lot of pelicans. Guliari. Pelican river. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. They're They're big, aren't they?
So the mangroves are very special like to us, to our family. Yeah. So that's why it's so lovely to see them all here and and they're all still surviving and growing and that means they're filtering all the you know the water and yeah. um, they're here for the mud crabs and that sort of thing so that makes me feel good. Yeah, that's the yeah. to see it again. Yeah. Because you know it makes me think about like oh grandfather would be in this environment. Yeah. Out there get in the wood for our mob and he'd bring it back and then our mob could you know um, shape the and shave the boomerangs and burn them and then varnish them and, and all that and we were able to make a living then yeah. um, for our families. Some more people out like roots. And my nana was a shell collector. So shells to me mm -hmm. are very, very precious. Yeah. Yes. So when I see shells, I get very excited. It reminds me of my of my nana and my people. Yes. Who, you know, beautiful. It's part of our culture. And to bring that beauty and that joy and ceremony into Thank you to go forward in a lovely and positive way. 